there guys, it is 11 o'clock on Wednesday night, um, I'm way too hot, I'm, I'm going to have to take this off, I've just been in my office finishing tomorrow's blog post, it's a pretty epic one, because I've not been, been able to spend much time on my blog for quite a while, and we've been in hospital, I had to kind of get some out as quick as possible, and because I had no pictures or anything, I was writing the most rubbish blog posts and since I've got out I've just been writing whatever I could just to get content up. There's a few that gone up without pictures that I need to actually take and put on but I just wanted to make sure I got content up. Um, so last night I started working on a blog post for tomorrow um, and this is like the worst angle ever but um, I've just finished it off. It's quite an epic one. There's a lot of things in it and a lot of pictures and things like that and it took a while. I've not got Fridays done at all. I've got a couple of ideas what I'm going to do. I've got a massive post that I need to write and I think I'm going to make that my Sunday one because it is such a big post. I don't know what I was thinking but it's going to be done. Um, so yeah, I've just finished that and... It took maybe an hour, if not longer, to fully do. But I need to get some better content on my blog because for the last couple of weeks it's not been that good with everything that's going on. And then I was in hospital and then I was having to try and write them on this iPad. I had to write a few on this iPad. And yeah. And then since I've got out of hospital, I've just been like, I don't want to do it, but I do. So. I know I'm contradicting myself but it's just been difficult so I am happy with what's going to go up tomorrow. I just need to write Fridays and Saturdays um, and I need to decide what I want to go up. Um, I'm going to continue past the 8th of February. I know I was going to stop and then just do three posts a week but I missed a day by accident and I'm really annoyed at myself because I nearly did 100 continuous posts when it gets to the 8th. And now I won't because I somehow missed a day and I don't know how that happened. So I'm going to just carry on. Not much after the 8th, but there's a part of me that wants to finish the whole month. And then there's part of me like, no, I don't want to because I'm going to either run out of content, run out of time, or I don't know what's going to happen because of everything that's going on in my life and how I feel and... I'm not very well physically and mentally, I'm, I'm really struggling with how I'm feeling. I'm feeling quite down and unmotivated, but that blog has kind of been my saviour, along with this vlog channel since the middle of October. If I didn't have these, then I don't know what would be going on in my life. So, also this evening I've edited five vlogs, I think from the 4th of January to the ninth or something oh, I've, I've edited five actually and I really want to do a six one um, because I'm like three weeks behind on editing obviously so I just want to edit as much as I can um, I am very very tired I've been struggling with how tired I feel and that's why I've come up here to have a break and I'm too hot which is, isn't like me but I've been too hot all day I've got a temperature and I'm quite thirsty but I've not had that much to drink so I don't know if it's that or if I'm coming down with something I've not felt well all week um, because I was in hospital I still have a lot of the symptoms I had there but also I've been struggling with a sore throat and feeling run down so I've been drinking honey, lemon and ginger homemade drinks because um, I bought a lot of bought more ginger and lemon and some manuka honey today um, because I went shopping with my dad we went to Aldi and Asda I didn't really want to go rushed around both shops obviously I forgot things didn't want to be out the house feel stressed um, anxious on edge I still don't have a phone back the police have still not contacted me I don't know when I'm meant to be going in I'm stressed out about having to go in I was with my dad earlier and he got um, a missed call from a private number. I can't remember if the private or withheld the police. I think it's withheld. And I had a mini breakdown over it because I thought 
it's the police and he like listened to his answer phone message and it wasn't but I was like oh my god this is stressful waiting for them to phone so I don't know when I'm meant to be going in or I don't want to go in and it's not because I'm hiding anything because I have been completely honest with them it's the fact that a I don't know what's going on um, and it's not that, it's the fact that I don't really want to be there because of how anxious I feel and I'm just scared that I'm going to have a massive anxiety attack and it's going to affect me being there because obviously if I have an anxiety attack or a panic attack which I've been suffering from from the last couple of weeks since I saw my ex in Asda, I've just been having horrific panic attacks and they're kind of similar but I can cope better with the anxiety attack, the panic attacks just really full on and if they're together at the same time then that is not good. Um, so I'm kind of worried that because I'm feeling anxious all the time at the moment and because obviously going to the police station isn't the best thing in the world, um, I'm scared that I'm going to have some kind of anxiety attack when I'm there. Obviously they'll have to get a nurse or a doctor which I don't want, I don't want to be in this position so I'm kind of like I want to go and sort everything out but at the same time I'm kind of like because of how I feel I don't know if that's the best thing to do but obviously you know they want to speak to me, they wanted me in last Wednesday obviously I was in hospital I mean when I was told I was to report to the police station for a I think it's a willing interview or a when you go without having to be told you had to go I can't think of the word but um I was surprised because it was like Monday like tea time and they went and knew I was in hospital and they're like they want you to report on Wednesday morning and I'm thinking if I get out tomorrow I'm still not well and they want me to go in on Wednesday feeling unwell and I don't think they realized how ill I was um but to say like we want you in a day later it's just like I'm not well like I don't want to be in, asked a million questions when I feel this ill like I don't know but um, yeah like my dad got this call and it was a missed call and he's like oh it's a withheld number pretty sure it's withheld the police and um, I was like it's the police and I just like felt my heart sink because I just feel really ill and I'm stressed out and I'm just like I don't know if I want to go in like I do want to go in I can't kind of contradict myself here but I do want to go but at the same time it's like I just feel so anxious that I don't know if I can give them what they need as in I, I I'm so stressed out, I just don't want to go in and like forget things or blurt things out or get annoyed because I've been in a really bad mood because I'm feeling ill and when I feel ill I'm just not in the best mood and I don't want to go and like be like, ugh, like and arguing with people, I just want to like be me and I'm pretty chilled out but for the last month I've just been like this crazed person that isn't me and I'm just like so stressed out about the situations that I'm in and like I don't know but obviously I mean I don't know like if they're waiting for me to contact them because I can't because I don't have a phone or if they're giving me time to like get better I don't like I don't know and I don't want to like get my dad to like find out and then they're like oh we want to in today like I don't know like oh I can't even explain myself but I just like I don't even know what's going on like all I know is I was attacked and the person is like still walking around like I've not even been asked what happened like and I've been told that's very unusual and the fact that I were examined and like my, I've got like I'm covered in bruises like I had them all up my legs and a massive one on my shoulder and it was like all over my back and like no one is like um no one's like questioning me and like what's going on and like 
I've been told by several people who know a lot about police procedure that it's very unusual for the police not to come and interview you and ask you what happened. So, I don't know, but I've just, I want to answer the questions, but at the same time, I just feel like the, how anxious I feel about everything, I'm not going to cope too well if it's like one of those angry interviews like I know like it's not gonna be an, anti in oh, an angry interview it's because I know who's doing it like I've known her since September since I first met her and she used to scare the shit out of me at first when I first met her and I preferred the other one at first but when I found out the other one had been slagging me off to my ex I was just like okay anyway um I'm going to try and go to the office tomorrow, I don't want to, at all, but I have to earn a little bit of money, um, but I don't want to go, so, and what it is that I'm doing I have to do there, so yes, anyway last night I filmed a, about 40 minutes worth of footage explaining how and why I ended up in hospital. It's currently downloaded onto my laptop and one of the clips is about 30 minutes long which worries me because um, when I uploaded an 18 minute video it took 12 hours so another 12 minutes it's going to take 18 hours and then I've got two other clips because I talked a lot and I'm going to put that into five videos um, and it'll be up on the channel I don't know when because my hospital vlogs are going up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So it would kind of make sense if I put them up after that. But I've got videos going up until the following Monday, I think, or Sunday that I've just edited. So I don't know if I should put them up after that and then go back to my old footage or... I think I'm, I am going to do that. If I can get them edited and up and up on those days, then that's what I'm going to do. Um... I know it's kind of going backwards and forwards, like currently I'm showing early January, then on Friday it's going to go to last week, and then after that, for a week and a bit or whatever, it's going to go back to like early January until the second week of January, and then it's going to go to what happened, and then it's going to go back, it's going to get a bit confusing, but I just feel like they need to go up recently, so you're kind of aware of what's going on in my life now. Even though this is all going to be confusing, but I'm trying my best here. But um, I'm going to end this here now because I'm on 13 minutes and I've not even been uploading these clips yet. Um, I'm just so hot right now. I've been hot all day. I think I'm going to go and turn the heating off and drink some water and possibly try and edit one more vlog. So I shall be back. To I shall be back tomorrow and... I may have heard from the police by then and I may have actually been in, I don't know, I really don't know. I'm kind of like, <laughs> I just want my phones back more than anything and I think that's making me worse that I don't have my phones. Um, and they've got three of my phones, there was the two that they, well they took one from me, that I had on me, um, they took one from my house, which you'll know about if you've watched the explanation video. And there was one in my car and they've searched my car so obviously they have hold of that phone as well so I'm not bothered about that phone it's just a cheap shit phone but I want my two iPhones back so I can have contact with the outside world which I currently don't have because I don't have a phone but yes yeah, so I'm gonna end this here before it gets to 15 minutes and I shall hopefully film a little bit tomorrow I'm going to try and keep it a bit short and sweet tomorrow unless something major happens or the police contact me or I go to the police station. But then it's definitely gone out and I shall be back tomorrow. Night guys.